Greetings traders, welcome to the weekend edition here at freetradingvideos.com. This is how we closed the markets on Friday. Up a little bit. Leading the charge was the Nasdaq and the Russells. Nice drop, almost 6%, which is almost six times the inverse of us going up. Very bullish here. We have the VIX below 40. We're in the 30s. It's been a while since we've been in the 30s on the volatility index. Very neat to see. Anyway, we're looking at the Dow. Bring this down just a smidgen so we can see this. And the Dow here, we're taking a look at the daily big drop here, 07, 08. You know, last couple of years has just been bloody. But I want to start paying special attention to the volume. Let's look at the volume here. Look at the swell of volume that we have here compared to the last two years. Right there, that could be accumulation taking place as we speak. Zoom in a little bit. And a lot of that volume was on the buy side. We are creeping up. The volume is starting to dissipate. But overall, this is large volume compared to where we've, what we've seen in the past. So um, that smells like a, some bottoming action trying to take place. Let's look here at the weekly on the Dow. Look at this. Big volume on the weekly big volume. Let's go back. I mean, we're back to 2005. Look at this volume. We're popping up here. It's dissipating, meaning the last few months have slowed down slightly, but overall that is big, big volume taking place. Let's look here on the monthly. And the monthly, we have a higher high. Gang, I was talking to you about this. If we can close a higher high for April, we should just keep we should just rally into the future here next couple months probably get up to 9000 pretty quick i would imagine so yes you're hearing that first here at freetrainingvideos.com on the hammer look at this big volume you can't i mean that's nothing to sneeze at let's go back in time here i'm going to go way back to i mean we're back in 1998 look at this Nothing comes close to the volume that we received last month. It looks like buyers are coming in pretty aggressively right now. So, you know what? Let's also pull up the Russells. And the Russells just popped up Friday up over the top of that trend line, couple trend lines. That was some tough area. It got through there. The next area is 470 on the Russells. Let's watch that and see how that pans out. But anyway, the thing that I want to have all of us thinking about here is watching that volume. That volume tells us a lot. Price action is only confirmed by volume. On the MACD, we do have a crossover. We are positive on the histogram here. Let's go back to the Dow and see that MACD. And the Dow also breaking over some resistance. You know, 8,500, I could see it getting up there. We are positive on the histogram. We do have a crossover. And um, yeah, so. The volume the last couple of days is a little smaller here, so I think we could still get a pullback, um, a little bit of a pullback, but I'm not certain that we're going to get the huge pullback as we were hoping to be getting in the markets. Let's look here at the S&P. Also, the histogram positive with a crossover on the S&P. We popped up over that trend line right here. We have an 850 area and 875 to get up into. I think we could do that. Question is, are we going to get this pullback? I mean, we're due for it. We're overbought at this time. We are due for a nice, significant pullback. So, um, I here let's draw a fib on this also this would be interesting I want to show you something I'm going to draw a fib on this leg coming down right here we're getting deep 
There's our fib. I mean, look at this. I mean, this fib, we're already past 75. I mean, we're at the 80, 85 mark right now on the retracement. We retrace this leg by 80 to 85 percent. Look at that as an 80 to 85 percent failure rate to drop below that swing right here. So I think that with a pullback, we're going to we're we're almost all but certain that we will get a higher swing low, and chances are really getting um, more probable that this was our low for um, 2009 at 666. So let's see if that plays out. There you have it. Free trading videos, place to be. Where the freedom to learn will give you the freedom to profit. Till next time, catch you in the forums.